go to the view menu and go to show grid. That shows the grid. Grid and access manager changes the grid, changes the setting. Now at the moment I've got it as 100, so go to the basic section. Please check out my videos on how to change the grid. Set it to 100. Reason for 100 is got 100 up here. That's the stroke width. Just makes everything nicely squared, all fine, all so you can see it visually. So 100 and 100. If you've got 50 for your stroke width, put 50 there. So close that. Now I've got this reference line, which is exactly the same as this line. But I can set the strokes, the et cetera, dashes, just by here, just go up here. Now select the move tool. Now sometimes this will not be, these things are not available with the move tool. Don't know why, they occasionally disappear. However, you can normally get them via the shape or via the pen tool, and it was created by a pen tool. Okay, click there, and now you can see the actual settings. If you want just a standard line, just go to the that one, the second option, not the first one. That one, that puts it just to nothing. Second, and then go for the dashes. You can set the dashes down here. However, key thing, cap. If you set the cap to the first option, you get this rounded. Doesn't show so easy in tutorial showing the examples. I find the second one is the easy one to show it. So second one is what I'm using in this. I'll do a video about the first one another time, but that one, just there so you can see it as a nice square, 100 by 100, exactly matching the grid. And all the others I'm going with first and first. So now down to the dashes. So I've got one and one there, and you can see what one and one is. You've got that, that's 100 points, 100 points again, 100 points, 100 points. That's the one, that's the one, and then one, obviously the gap. That's the gap, that's 100 points there. And I can enter some other value, so say two. So two, I get 200 point gap. So that's obviously two squares. That's all it's doing, basically two squares there. If you enter three, you can get three there. You can get three squares, and so on and so on. You put it to one again. Also, you can go the other way, so two. So you've got two, you get two squares there, and then you get a gap of one. And then two squares, and then a gap of one, two squares, gap of one. And that's just a pair. So you've got that one pair there, and also that pair there. Now, so you can make more complex designs than just obviously two and one. So this time I'm just going to put it to one and one. So put it back to the default. And then I can go here and say, set that to one. And you can see what happens. You now get that one, which is the one there, gap. And then you get that one, which is that one there. And then you get that one again. So you've got the two, obviously it just moves along a bit. So it, might, it looks slightly odd, but that's what you're getting. You're getting the one, then the one, then the one, and then you've got the one and so on and so on. However, you can complicate it even more by entering one there. And now you can see now it just goes back to what you expect, basic standard, because it's just one, 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 one all the way along. But of course you can turn around and say, well, let's put two there. So you now get one, and then you've got the one, that matches that. Then you've got the, there, the one again, and then you got the two. So that's that gap, no square there. So that's one, 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 and then the two. And then one, 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 and then the two. And so on and so on. Or you can go for, say, two there. And you can see now you get the one, and then you get the one, which is exactly that first pair. Then you get the two, which is that one, and the two. So two and two. And you can create a number of combinations using that approach. Also, like I say, let's just, well, you can also enter, and I'm not going to complicate too much with lots of different varies. You can also use decimalization as well. So you can say 0 0.5. So you can enter 0 0.5 in this, and you can see what you get then. You get 50 there. So it's obviously 100 points. You get 50 points. You get half of that square using 0 0.5. You can also enter 0 0.1, so you get a very thin line. And you can say the same. You can do 1 there, and you can go 0 0.5. So again, what happens? you get a very thin, obviously that half, half that square, and then you get the square again, that one, and then you get the half again, and then the one, then the half, and then the one, half, and so on and so on. And you can go for, say, 0 0.1. So you get, a, obviously, just a very tiny gap between that, and you can also go for, say, 0 0.1 there as well. So you get very thin lines, then thin line, thin line, thin line, all the way along. It's exactly the same as 1 and 1, but instead it's 0 0.1, which makes it just thin and like that. And you can do the same here. You can make even more complex by saying 0.2. And you can see you get line now. Obviously you get the 0.1, then the 0.1, and then you get the 0.1, and, the, and so on and so on. 0.3. And 
you can create a whole variety of different designs using this approach. Now, let's go right back to the default setting of one and one, because I want to show the phase, because you can use the phase as well, which is a nice shift feature. So with this, the phase basically is exactly the same as these. So it's just 100 pixels, 100 points. So if I put one in there, it just shifts it along by 100 points. That's all it's doing, one box, just shifts it along one box. If you put two, shifts it along by two boxes. But of course, that then lines it back into the exact same position. You can put it to three, odd, even, and so on, so on. You can just keep changing it. And you can change, oh, just change. You can also accidentally change the width as well, which is not so convenient. You can go up here to phase again, enter four, five, seven, whatever. You can just keep entering that. You can also enter 0.5. You say you can shift it by 50, 50 points. Obviously, it's still 100 points there. 0 0.5 is 50. So it's just shifted. And that's all it's done. And you can also go negative as well, which, of course, is much, not much. Exactly the same as before. As one. It's exactly the same. So you can also drag that down now. So as you do that, what you can do, you just drag that down. You can see it fits nicely in that square. And you can select both those. And you can create a whole variety of different line combinations by using this. Or maybe just simply just dragging that down like that. So you get red, black, red, black, or any other color, of course. Don't have to go with just red or, or black. And you can create a variety of different designs using this feature of dashes as well as the phase. And of course, as I said, you can also use these cap and other settings as well. But for demonstration purposes, I think the second option is going to be the best. Well, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.